Good morning, good afternoon, wherever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hey. And we are talking about the Star Spinner Tarot, which is a tarot deck that is done by a artist named Truggles. It comes with a really cool book. It comes with a really cool box. I'm actually really impressed with the box, I will say. I'll show it to you in a bunch of other videos too. This one, I really want to talk about the card first because it is the strength card, only it's not. So I know it's really hard to tell. One of the things I do not like about this deck is how tiny the font is. And obviously I, I need glasses as it is. So seeing a teeny tiny font like this, I would say it's maybe barely a 10 point font on here, but it could be maybe 11. Either way, we've got the number at the top and we have the fortitude written at the bottom. So fortitude and strength, I feel like it, they're very synonymous, but I also really like that aspect of this card rather than just saying you are strong and there is a strength. Fortitude to me is more about pressing onward and whether or not you have physical or mental strength, you are still willing to move forward and therefore are gaining those things. And sometimes that is what this card represents is not so much you are a strong person or you have a lot of strength, but that this is now a test of that strength and something to help you gain more of that, whether it's physical or mental. I mean, we go through a lot of things that test us mentally and emotionally, and so we grow stronger for that. It's not always about the physical muscle of strength, although... I mean, I kind of like the idea of the character being strong as well. I've seen some strongman ones that make me very happy. In this case, the character is kind of got her face turned down. She looks very uh, somber, almost sad, but more contemplative, I feel. And then she's got the lotus here, which I know in a lot of mythology, the lotus kind of represents that, that meditative sort of energy. So she's contemplating, she's thinking, the lion doesn't really look like it's real. It almost looks like it's an ethereal component to the card. And with all the little halos around their heads and stuff, I'm wondering if it's not so much like we've seen in more traditional cards where she is taming the lion, but this is something that she is trying to grow inside herself. So she is channeling the lion rather than taming the lion. And there's two sides to the strength card or the fortitude card in this case. Part of it is taming your strengths, taming that that more uh, that lion that is inside some of us, that kind of rage maybe that we get really frustrated and we want to get on our soapbox about something and we have to kind of mellow that out, tame the lion so it doesn't go bite everybody's heads off. But also we need to know when to channel that lion energy to fight for the things that we want to fight for and need to fight for. So it's that balance between the two. And really, strength is as much a, a balance card like temperance or some of the others as it is a strength of forward momentum, sort of like the chariot would be. It's about that push. It's about the strength, obviously. It's about meditation. It's about your knowing yourself and knowing both sides of yourself and when you should choose to use those strengths that you may have. And yeah, it does have to do with physical strength as well as the skill sets you might have that are your strengths, but also to do with where do you stand and what are the things you stand for. So I like all of those things with this card. And I really like that she's so contemplative because I do feel like the kind of Beauty and the Beast aspect of this card where the human entity is usually calm and relaxed. They are not afraid of the monster, be it a lion, which is more typical, or sometimes it is a beast of some kinds. I've seen it as a boar. I've seen it as the beast from Beauty and the Beast and things like that. So it is knowing that in the face of danger, in the face of things that may cause you a, an adversarial sort of situation, you can still stand your ground and do so in a peaceful way that doesn't add more rage to the whole situation. So yes, 
Love this card. Love the colors of this card. Excited to talk about this one as well as all the cards in the Star Spinner deck. And as always, if you really love this, check out the links below. And also, hey, check out the other videos because I've got a lot for the Star Spinner this month. All month long, it's just me. But don't worry, next month, I think I have some friends with me. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, until next time. Bye! Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy.